Welcome guys, this is Tech Knowledge Made Basic. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to open up the built-in antivirus in Windows 8 which is uh, Windows Defender. So let's go ahead and take our pointer and remember we are in the desktop mode under Windows 8 and go all the way to the top right corner of the screen and let's access the charms, go do a left click on search and let's go ahead and scroll over here and we're going to want to open up uh, Windows Defender. And Windows Defender is going to be under the uh, Windows System list here, under all the programs. So if you look under Windows System and go all the way down here where it says Windows Defender, it's going to be right here. So let's go ahead and if we do a right click on it, I just want to see what commands it brings up. And you can see here we can run it as administrator, the actual program. Uh, we can open up the file location. We have different options down here. Let's just go ahead and do a left click over it to open up the program. and here it is right here. It may look a lot like Windows Security Essentials um, because that's what it was previously previously called in other versions of Windows, uh, i.e., you know, Windows 7, Windows uh, Vista. But as you can see now, it is Windows Defender and Windows 8. Uh, so you have your ta tabs up here, different options. You have your home screen, which shows that that the real-time protection is on. You have uh, virus and spyware definitions is up to date. Um, so everything looks good. Uh, if you click on the Update tab, it you know, all you the only option you have under here is to go ahead and update your computer. And as you can see, it was just updated today, or not update your computer. I apologize. Update Windows Defender. So there's a big update button. If you go under History, it just shows any if you have any quarantine items that you want to get rid of. It's going to be here. And go to View Details. As you can see, it's completely empty. But if you had anything in that list, it, it would just have check boxes you can check, and you can uh, remove under uh, from the quarantine. That's after you've done a scan. It's maybe found something on your computer. Uh, and we'll go ahead and also go under the settings tab and as you can see the real-time protection is turned on so this program is constantly monitoring and watching uh, things on your computer you may get a pop-up on the bottom right of your computer that says clean your PC if it ever you know finds something that it thinks it's malicious on your computer uh, one other option I want to show you though if you go under advanced one thing I highly recommend doing especially before you run uh, say you want to run a full system scan yourself go here where it says create a system restore point and what it does is creates a system restore point before removing, running, or quarantining, uh, quarantining any detected items. And why this is important is because this may accidentally remove something on your computer that's necessary. You know, maybe a really bad virus. Uh, so you want to make sure you create a system restore point because that will at least uh, allow your computer to go back to the point before the program did that to your computer. And uh, you know, you have several options uh, that you can boot into uh, before Windows even boots. So I want uh, you want to make sure you have that option selected. So go ahead and click Save Changes, and let's go ahead and go back home. And as you can see over here, our scan options we have quick option, or quick, full, and custom scan. I highly recommend uh, you yourself doing a manual full system scan at least once a week just to keep your system clean. So you can just uh, choose that option, hit Scan Now, and do it when you're not really using your computer or before you're going to go to bed or something. That way, um, you know it doesn't sl uh, slow anything down that you're doing. Uh, that day. So that is Windows Defender. That is the built-in antivirus to Windows 8. Highly recommend using it and opening it and uh, keeping it up to date. So that does conclude this tutorial. I do guys, I do thank you guys for watching, and I appreciate your time.